Hi guys, it's Big Al, and welcome to Big Al Sports World. Well, today we're back with Kirsten Ashton in the non-league, the Premier League save. And more said it all wrong in the last one, because that was a playoff first round. We're actually in the semi-finals today, and we must be at AFC Telford to get to Wembley. I didn't realise that at the time, because I was stupid and didn't look at the rules properly. So, we're playing away today against AFC Telford. They beat us 2-1 the last time we played them. them. But before that, at their ground, we tanked them all the way back up here. Where is it? Where is it, AFC Telford? There. We beat them 4-1 at their ground. So, hoping that we can do the same today. Fingers crossed. So, you want to know who the team's going to be. Well, we stuck with the same formation. Uh, just two changes. Yeah, two changes. That I think that's all there was. Was two, maybe three changes to the team. Mainly two of them on the bench, one in the first team, and you're going to see that now. So Gokic and goals with a backline of a dude, Donnellan, Downing, and Booker, with Almeida, Kenny, because uh, Adamson's away with the under twenty one England squad, so we have no choice. Or sorry, under twenty England squad to the World Cup. So Kenny's in instead of starting with Grant beside him. In front of them is Baxter with David Off and Palmer up front. On the bench, we have Lawton, who is now back from suspension. We got Harbert, the young 16 year old centre back. Luke Lofts, who's back from injury, but not 100% fit for today. Leggett and Barnby. So, fingers crossed, we can actually win this game. Now, we, whenever we won 4 1, we played this formation. Whenever we lost 2 1, we played a 4 4 2 formation. So, they played the same formation in both games, and we're going to see their formation right now. I believe they play a 4 2 3 1 formation. If I'm right, I think I'm right. So, fingers crossed, we can win this game. Yes, so there you go 4 2 3 1 formation. Fingers crossed we can be at ASE Telford today and get all the way into the uh, good old final. Yes, tell them that uh, we want to continue on. We're in the all blue. They're in the, what looks like white and blue. Is it white and dark navy? White and dark navy, they get kick off. They are the home team. We're in the all blue. Hoping that we can uh, cause a big upset. They finished second in the league this season, so hopefully we can cause an upset. And already we've got an attack on in the first like 17 seconds. Kenny, great run by Kenny, but great challenge. That was a queer start considering they had a good attack and then we took over. Is the highlight going to stay on? The highlight is staying on. This is weird. We don't normally get. Oh no, it's. Oh, first high, major highlight is theirs. Kelly with a free kick. Gocky out and collects. Great stuff. That's what we like to see. Now, will we get a counter attack on here? Gocky pumps the ball forward. Will Davidoff put up and win it? No, he cannot. And here come ASC Telford with Steele. Steele brings it forward for Telford. Telford are on fire as well. They have been undefeated for so long now. Platt, Steel, Steel plays a beautiful ball down the line, the head send, cross Downing's there though with the header out, but Steel wins it back, Jacobs, Lucene, oh and I think he's put it well wide, yes he has, can't wait that my graphics card turns up, I don't have to look at jumping graphics anymore, and another highlight is there, it's Kelly, the Steel, who puts it well wide again, two highlights in a row for Telford, that's not good sign. And here they come again, Jacobs. Downing's there though. Grant, can we create the counter attack? Grant finds David off. David off holds it up nicely. Will he play it back to Adu? He does. Adu, don't lose it, Adu. Grant thankfully got there. <sighs> Give me heart failure. David off. What can he do? Almeida. Palmer. Oh, too easy for Yates. At last, a decent build-up. And a corner to Telford. This is dangerous. Kelly whips it in towards Guthrie. Gawking with a big save. Oh, the man between the sticks is pretty good. Baxter with free kick. 
What we do with it whips it in. Easy for Clark. And here gets Hansen's gonna or Hessen's gonna pick up the loose ball and counter attack football now for Telford. He pumps it forward. Way forward. Downing's there though. He holds on to it. He finds Kenny with a good pass. Kenny in the Baxter. Baxter finds Grant. Grant finds Palmer. Square it, Palmer. No, don't shoot. Square it. Oh, he shot instead of square it, you greedy little git. You're useless, Palmer. Yates, here comes Telford now. Jacobs wins the ball. Heckler, but Kenneth, or Dalmeida gets a tackle in. Now Donnellan finds Grant. Good football. David off. What will David off do with it? Will he hold it up? Back there, do. In the Baxter. Who's playing quite deep. He should be further forward than that. But he's giving it away. And here comes Heckler now. Or Harker even. Harker, yeah, Harker. Harker brings it away. Down the wing. He beats Almeida with ease. He weighs it in. Lily. And it's 1-0 Telford. Terrible blast by Baxter in the middle. And Telford have punished the Atnash. And it could be our season over right here. By AFC Telford. They have been outstanding this late half of the season and it looks like we could be going out to them Baxter with a free kick can he redeem himself no he cannot he just puts it freaking miles wide Gokic pumps it forward David off up will David off get there no he can't Clark Lily Almeida does though Grant now David off Back into Grant. Grant plays in Palmer. Palmer back to Kenny. Kenny finds Baxter. Baxter fouls, but play on as a referee. Grant. Kenny. Kenny bits his man. Square it. Kenny Palmer. Oh, he still can't score Ollie Palmer. Great football by the Nash. Jacobs. Oh, what a challenge by Almeida. Booker pumps it forward. He finds Palmer. Palmer in the Baxter. Beautiful ball in. David off. David off. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he put it wide. I thought it was in the roof of the net. It went wide. Second half. Both away teams losing. Salford are losing 1 0 to Kidderminster. So that means Essie Telford and Kidderminster are both winning 1 0. They were second and third in the table, respectively. And. We've made two changes, as you can see, Luke Lofts is back from injury and on, and we've also brought in the 16-year-old Harbert centre-back for Donnellan. And here comes Telford again, Hessen, whips it in, dining with a thumping head around, Lussie picks it up though for Telford, plays it out wide to Jacobs, Jacobs against Booker, Jacobs going to get his cross in, isn't he? Gokic with a big catch, easy peasy for Gokic, gotta do better than that to beat him. Which they already have once. Big kick from Gokic. Come on. We got Luke Lawson, Palmer, and everything up front now. Oh, and here comes Steele. Steele. Oh, he's giving it into Palmer. Who looks for Luke Loss? Loss, he's only back from injury. Loss! Yeah! Oh! Saved by Yates. Oh! Oh, I'm getting too excited. My, I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> Every effort I think is going to go in. David off with the, cor with the corner. Whips it in. Downing. Herbert. Herbert. Yeah. Yes. It's in. The 16 year old centre back. Super sub. Herbert. Gets the goal. Has it been given? It has been given. Yes. I thought it was stopped. David off. Downing with the flick on. And 16 year old Herbert gets the ball. And Carries it into the roof of the net. He's 16 years old from the youth team. Oh, free kick to them. Kelly. Oh, over the bar. But Harbour is definitely one for this for future. Him and Adamson. Wow. Kelly whips it in. Oh, he doesn't whip it in. He plays it short. Check up to the edge of the box. Clocks on Martin in the box. Oh, and well blocked by Grant. He threw himself in front of it. Backed in our corner for Telford. Bear in mind, we have dominated on the stats. Dominated it. Kelly again. Jacobs is free at the edge of the box. He does the same thing again. Straight back at Jacobs. Jacobs. But he's taking it wider. Jacobs whips it in this time. Clark. Lofts. Gucky with a big save at do. Clark picks it up. 
Can I do get the ball back? Yes, he can. No, Kenny, it was Kenny. Counter attack by the Nash. Kenny sprinting the ball forward. He plays in Palmer. Foul, free kick. Come on, ref. Straight through goal. It has to be a red. He was through and goal for ref. Is that going to be a straight red? He gets a yellow. Oh, maybe he's classified as a oh, center back as a coverage. Kenny, here we come. Beautiful ball over top. No, too easy for Kelly. And here comes... Telford, I thought we were going to get a nice attack there, but it looks like it's going to be Telford's attack. Harker, he's got runners. He's found Lily, who should have been sent off. And docking with a save, and Oliver is there, but Downing gets there. Kenny and Downing clear it up. Grant with a free kick. Make it count, Grant. He whips it off the wall. Grant picks up the loose ball, though. Plays it out wide. David Off is there. David Off turns. But he's already offside. Oh, and the tables are turning badly here. And he Telford have gone all out attack now. And here they come. We've taken David off, off and brought in P Barnby in that attacking midfield role, which he can't really play, but it's all we have. Lily, Harker, Everest, Lussie, Lussie still, Platt. As they're on all out attack, this Telford team. Platt. Oh, he gets the free kick. Come on, Barnby. Good life with the free kick for the for Telford. Everest. We're in the final. Four minutes added on. Everest. Whips in the ball. Gocking's there with a big catch again. Come on, the Nash. One counter attack. That's all we need is one attack, one chance. And we can nick this. We're all, we're we're absolutely shattered. Loss can't win it though. Lossy does. Here comes Telford. They are much fitter than us. They had an extra day off. Everest beats his man. Whips in a ball. Downing's there though. And Downing finds Harbert. A do. Barnby. Grant. If this goes the extra time, I don't think we'll win it at all. Barnby always giving it away. But do picks it up. Plays it all the way back to Gocking. Pumps the ball forward. Easy for Kelly though. We are looking very, very tired. Lily. Oh, what a challenge. Everest spits his man. Whips him across. Back post. And we are lost it. Oh, we are out in the semi-final with the three minutes left on the clock. Well, we have no choice now. We need to go all out attack. There is no choice now. If we lose this 3-1 or anything, we have to. What a challenge, though, by Booker, but the Nash look like they're going to lose 2-1 again to SC Telford for the second game in a row and get knocked out off the playoffs. Oh, semi-finalist, and looks like we're going to get knocked out. Kenny, can we conjure up something? Oh, Barnby's ball was just not enough for Palmer. Looks like it's another season in the Van Ramen National League North. We've come so far. We had a played an extra game over in this team. Kenny, oh Palmer, laughs, laughs, holds it up, he finds Barnby, Barnby, into the box, Kenny, oh and he put it wide, our chances are coming thick and far, but we can't finish it, Lily, and it looks like Telford could get a third here maybe, or can we intercept it, and get that final attack, we can't intercept it, Kenny, finds laughs, Palmer's through the middle, Loss holds it up though, Laughs back to Harbert. Oh, and the youngster gives it away, and this could be it. And Doyer, the goal scorer, the winner. Booker wins it back, though. Barnby, Palmer, can we get one last attack? 20 seconds left. Palmer's ball was poor. And here they come again. Can we get the ball and turn around and pump it? 15 seconds. It looks like we're going to the semi final stage. It looks like another season in the Van Ram and National League. Nor for Kirsten Ashton. We came so close, but that one extra game has absolutely killed us. We're going to have a lot of different players next season because a lot of these contracts are up and we just don't won't be renewing them. We'll be having a lot of kids playing. Palmer can't win it. Grant can. We're in. Oh, that's it. Game set match. Well done, Telford. It's Telford free Kidderminster in the playoff final. Well done, Telford. They were not overly the better team on the day, but they've taken their chances. We scundered ours. 
Well, we get knocked out in the semi-final. I thought it was due to be the final, but I forgot Telford and Kidderminster finished second and third respectively. Didn't have to play a playoff place for some reason until the semi-finals. So there you go, guys. Knocked out in the semi-finals of the playoffs. Promotion didn't happen this season. We'll have to try again next season and see if we can do it in our third season rather than our second season. Maybe third time lucky. But my aim will be to try and strengthen the squad with a few younger players. Because we got a lot of like six, quality 16-year-olds and 17-year-olds at this club. So hopefully we'll get rid of the all, some of the players that are looking to leave. And the contracts are up that we won't be able to renew because we can't afford them. And uh, see what we can do next season. Well guys, thank you very much for joining us. All the best. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thumbs up. Cheers guys. Take it easy. Bye.